I know you've seen a 36 footer with triple engines, but when's the last time you saw one with six propellers and 1,050 horsepower on the back? That's what's on this K436. You gotta love it. With these big beefy Susies on the back, this is a 65 or so mile an hour boat. We're talking about some serious speed when you open up the throttles. Meanwhile, when it's time to fish, obviously you got plenty of rod holders along the transom. You got rod holders in the gunnels going all the way forward. You got a sizable live well right here in the transom. And this is no chintzy live well. It's got a baby blue interior. It's gasketed at the top. It's got an overflow valve, not a standpipe, and it's lighted. Hold on, full stop. You say you need two live wells, one for your ballyhoo and one for your goggle eyes? Not a problem. You got a second live well right here. Well, wait a minute. Now you're saying, hey, I got two kinds of live baits I want to fish. I also want to put out a regular trolling spread. I also want to kite fish and I also want to, I don't know, do some deep dropping. Where are you going to put all that gear? Well, that question is settled, people. One, two, three, four regular size planos. One of the big ones underneath, plus a bulk stowage drawer. Put all your leads in there. And it's identical on the other side. So this boat can hold one heck of a lot of tackle. What you got up front, this is a hardcore fishing boat, people, and nothing but. Gigantic fish box in the deck. You got stowage on both sides. You got stowage forward, and they even build these slick little stowage compartments into the gunnels here. So you can just put stuff everywhere. And what's most important about this layout is it leaves all this space wide open for fighting fish. You can step up and use this as an elevated casting deck, whatever you want. This is plain and simple. This is a fishing boat, period. Obviously, this boat is fresh from the factory. It has not been rigged out with electronics yet, but I still wanted to get a shot here of the helm because as you can see, I don't care how big the electronics you want are, they're gonna fit. You have just got gobs and gobs and gobs of space to put up multiple MFDs, engine monitors, whatever the heck you want, it'll fit. Look, if you're looking for the hardcore fish boat in the 36 foot range, you want some monster power, this Cape Horn, I'm telling you, this is the ticket. You gotta check this one out.